When segmentation is used with virtual memory, individual segments can be stored on disk while not in use, but the process can still execute as long as the needed segments are in memory. In this diagram, we see two simple processes A and B on disk. I say that they are simple because each process only has a single data code and stack segment. Let's see how portions of these processes can be moved into memory as part of a virtual memory segmentation system. Here we see some segments of these two processes stored in memory. I've shown memory addresses on the side of memory here, and the numbers that are written inside of the segments on the disk are the lengths of each segment. So notice that segment 0 of process A is at this spot in memory, and that if I add the length of segment 0, this hex number, to the base value where that segment starts, the result would be this memory address, which is the lower border where that segment ends. There's empty space here between the segments. That is external fragmentation. And memory trails off down and below. And so currently, the only segments from this diagram that are in memory are the data segment, segment 0 of process A, the code segment, segment 1 of process A, and the code segment, segment 1 of process B. The stack segments are both missing, as is segment B's data segment. Now, as with virtual memory paging, virtual memory segmentation tracks this information in a table, like so. The operating system maintains a segment table for each process. Every entry in the segment table has a present bit, indicating whether or not that segment is present in memory, a modify bit, M, indicating whether or not the segment has been modified since being read from disk into memory, a base physical address where the segment begins in memory, and a length, which is the size of a segment in memory. So as we can see with process A, segments 0 and 1 are present. And sure enough, in memory, we see segments 0 and 1. The base address for segment 0 is 0705500. That is this address right here. And that is indeed where segment 0 starts. Segment 1 starts at 0, 4, and then 6 zeros, which is this address here. And that is indeed where A's segment 1 starts. And segment 2 of process A is not present, so its value, its entry here is irrelevant. We also have the lengths of the segments. So segment 0 of process A has this length. And as I already indicated, if I add one zero 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 hex to this hex base address, I get this ending address of that segment. And similarly, if I add this hex value to this base address, I would get this address, which is both the end of A's segment one and the beginning of A's segment zero. Similarly, process B has segment 1 at this address in memory. The next issue we will discuss is address calculation in a virtual memory segmentation system. This is essentially the same as in a simple segmentation si system. We have a logical address, which in a virtual memory system is also known as a virtual address. And that address contains a segment number and an offset within that segment. For this example, let us assume a segment number of 3 and an offset written in hexadecimal of the following, 000F0052 in hex. Similar to a paging system, 
we will have a register on the processor that holds a pointer to a table, in this case a segment table. So the segment table is stored in memory at address 0, 0, 0, 4, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0 hex and we want the third entry and if we go three units from the start of the table we will find an entry which I will extract and write large here. As we were discussing previously each entry in the segment table contains a present bit, a modified bit, a base memory address, and a length for the segment. So this segment is indeed present in memory. Its base is located at address 02005320. So that will be this point there. And the length of the segment is given right here. So in order to locate the physical address that this virtual address is defining, we first need to make sure that this offset is less than that length. This hex value consists of more digits than this one, so it is clearly larger, meaning that this hex value is in bounds. Next, we will add this offset to the base to find the actual physical address like so. The result we get is 20F5372 in hex. This address is right here, but it happens to be this base address shown there added to this offset, which is the length being measured here. The next thing we'll see is how a segmentation system like this can be combined with paging in virtual memory. When paging is combined with segmentation, memory is divided into memory frames, labeled here, and segments can take up multiple frames or pages. Therefore, the logical or virtual address will consist of a segment number, a page number, and then an offset within the page frame. The segment number is an offset in a segment table, and the pointer to the segment table is still in a special register on the processor. So the first step of decoding this address into a physical address is to take this segment number, go to the base of the segment table, and then go, in this case, three units into the segment table to find the entry there. If we take this segment table entry out, we'll find that it looks something like this. Notice that this entry in the segment table only contains a base memory address and a length. We do not contain a P or M bit because those will actually apply to the pages, not to the segments. In fact, an entry in the segment table in a combined paging and segmentation system actually specifies the base of a page table for that particular segment of the process. Keep in mind, of course, that an individual segment may occupy multiple pages. Now, we still have a length, so we have to make sure that the next thing in the virtual address, this number 4 indicating page 4 offset from this base, is less than the length of that particular page table. And sure enough, this 4 is less than this length which means it is okay to go to the address of this base plus 4. So where is this base address? Well, it's within frame 2, but it's not at the beginning of it. It's not necessarily at the beginning of a page frame. Address 85000 in hex is around here. And the actual entry in the page table here that we want is offset by 
4 from that base. That gives us the following entry which we can extract and examine. So this is a page table entry and because pages may be present or absent in memory we have a present bit that indicates whether or not that page is already in memory or if we will have to retrieve it from disk. We also have a modified bit which will indicate if it has changed since being read in from disk and importantly for addressing we have a frame number. So the actual address we're looking for will be in frame 4 of memory which is right here. The way that we find the particular address in this frame that we're looking for is that we will offset by this amount here from the beginning of the frame. So this is the physical location we're looking for, but let's delve a little bit deeper and actually calculate what that physical address is. Recall that the nice thing about a paging system is that this portion of the virtual address will remain identical in the resulting physical address. However, the way I've written it, it isn't immediately clear how many bits this offset makes up. So let me clarify that now. In my example, my offset will actually be 18 bits. So one could imagine that there's an additional zero to the left of this hex value. Of course, we're not going to get all four zeros that we would normally associate with a hex digit. We're only going to get two of them. This will be a bit clearer if I write out the address in binary, like so. First, I've written out the lower 18 bits of the address. These bits remain the same in both the physical address and the virtual address. However, as we go from the virtual address to the physical address, these upper bits will change. And specifically, the value contained in these bits in binary will be the binary value 4, which is represented by 100. Zero, zero. Of course, once we group this into a hex address, these four zeros will be a single hex zero, and this bit that establishes the four will actually be padded out on the left to be a one, and we will then have eight more zeros to the left of this. So the actual full physical address that is right here in memory is 0010F002. And that is how address calculation is done in a combined paging and segmentation system.